The iPhone 15 Pro Max will go on sale in September, and today we have the specs, design, and price revealed. First off, we have confirmation that Samsung Displays has been given the go-ahead to manufacture the displays and that they have already begun mass production. Next, all four models of the iPhone 15 series will now feature the Dynamic Island, and the Pro models have even undergone further improvements. Thanks to Apple's Lippo technology, Ice Universe confirmed that the bezel has been reduced to just 1.5 mm. Additionally, we can expect a better and brighter display than its predecessor, which had a peak brightness of an impressive 2000 nits. The iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, however, are expected to have a peak brightness of up to 2200 nits. We have exciting news, the Pro models will receive a significant material improvement. According to Leaker Unknowns 21, the iPhone 15 Pro models will use Grade 5 titanium for the frame. According to sources, the iPhone 15 Pro Max models will come in dark blue and blood red colors, while the iPhone 15 and iPhone Plus versions will come in a fresh green hue. Additionally, thanks to code found in iOS 17 the alert slider has been totally replaced with a new customizable action button. You may now utilize it to rapidly access voice memos, translations, and a magnifying glass. You can pretty much make the button do whatever you want because we have shortcuts for focus mode, flash mode, camera, and silent mode. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is the first iPhone to include a periscope camera, enabling significantly better zoom capabilities with a new 6x optical zoom. While we have also made improvements to the camera software, the rest of the cameras, with the exception of the LiDAR scanner, remain largely the same. The iPhone 15 Pro models have 8GB of DDR5 RAM, so we're also receiving a memory boost. Of course, it's powered by the new A17 Bionic for the Pro models, while the non-Pro models will get last year's A16. Now that all models are capable of switching to USB Type-C connectors instead of Lightning ones, we also receive an upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E and an ultra-wideband chip to enhance airdrop. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.